Write these problems as long division problems. You do not need to solve them. So you don't need to solve these problems. I'm going to go to three of these problems and show you how you can turn them into long division problems. So here, where my mouse is at, I'll point to it. It says 17 divided by 2. Well, what we need to know is that this 2 is your divisor, the second number in your sequence. If I go to this problem right here, I have 214 over 4, 214 fourths. Here, this bottom number, your denominator, is your divisor. So knowing your divisor is the most important part. So whenever you have an equation written like this, the second number is your divisor. It's how many groups you're making. And same thing for this problem, your denominator is your divisor. It's how many groups you're making of that 214. So now if I go to these problems in long division form, my divisor goes in the outside because I'm trying to figure out how many of these 2's are in 17. Here I'm trying to figure out how many 4's are in 214. So a divisor was the second number in my sequence, and when I do a long division, it's my outside number. Here, my divisor was the bottom number in my fraction, and again, my divisor goes in the outside my long division bar. So then I have this one here. I have 72 and 5 tenths divided by 10 hundredths. Same thing. My divisor is always the second number in a sequence when we have it written out like this. So this number right here is my divisor, which means it's going to go on the outside of my long division bracket. So here it is, which means the 72 and 5 tenths would go on the inside. So we're trying to figure out how many of those 10 hundredths are in at 72 and 5 tenths. So the rest of the problems are just like that. This is no, as long as you know your divisor. For here, divisor is your denominator. On this kind of sequence, it's your second number in your sequence. And for the long division that we're looking at, it is the outside number. So that's how we can rewrite all those different types of division problems as a long division problem. All right, I hope that helps.